what's up guys welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel so as usual my people you know me have some things i'm gonna share with you guys so the first thing i'm gonna get in all right 18 year old prison escapee charged with westmoreland murder an 18 year old man who reportedly escaped from prison was on friday charged in connection with a murder which was committed on grandpa scheme lane in westmoreland last month ian wright has been charged with murder possession of a prohibited weapon and using a firearm to commit a felony wright is charged for the october 24 2023 killing of 39 year old Duane Molle, otherwise called Soji, a farmer from Belmont District in Bluefields, Westmoreland. Reports indicated that around 9 10 pm, Molle was traveling on his motorcycle with his girlfriend when he was pounced upon by a gunman who shot him in the upper body before fleeing. Residents summoned the police who saw Molle lying on his back with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced you know what the girlfriend was not injured right who had escaped from the metcalf remand center while serving an eight-year sentence was captured by the saint catherine North police on november 8 2023 he was charged on a warrant while in custody at the spanish town lockup so guys let me know what you think in other comments so we are going to move on, my people. Golden Ages UK resident Robin St. James Home Invasion. Two Golden Ages and a visiting UK resident were among four people robbed when thieves broke into their residence in Leth or Leith St. James Sunday morning. At least five robbers made off with cash and several other items during the early morning, breaking police said. The stolen properties include bank card, mobile phones, about six bills US, five thousand Jamaican dollar laptop, a cardless drill, a television, and jewelry. Our news team understand that around 5:10 a.m., the four people were at the house when five men and a woman, all wearing masks and gloves, went there. One of the men was armed with a handgun, another with a knife, and the other robbers had sticks. The thieves reportedly broke the glass to the front door and opened the lock. They entered the house, held up and robbed the residence before escaping in what was believed to be two motor cars. The police were summoned and the residence processed. People, so this to me seems like say them rabbi know the people them and the people them know them. You see me I say? I could have some youth from in at the same area. You see me? And them just go in there because them know say far in a far wood. But them not get much. Them get about six bills US. You know what I mean? Five grand Jamaican and a laptop, them say, and TV and jewelry. Them get enough. Them get enough, man. Enough things them get. So just let me know what you think in the comments, my people. And we are going to move on. To a car in Uruguay in a Clarendon. You see me? Man fatally shot, girlfriend hospitalized in alleged Clarendon love triangle. Jaja. A 31 year old man was shot dead and his girlfriend shot and injured in an alleged love triangle in Sandy Bay Clarendon on Sunday. The suspect, who police have identified as an ex boyfriend of the woman, was subsequently held and taken into custody, the police report. The deceased man has been identified as Anand Jackson, a transport inspector of New Green, Manchester. It is reported that about 8.10 p.m., the deceased parked his Toyota Probox motor car at the intersection of the Sandy Bay Main Road to purchase food. A Toyota Mark X and a Toyota Axia motor car drove up and stopped behind Jackson's vehicle. A man exited the Axio with a handgun and fired several shots, hitting Jackson and his girlfriend. Jackson reportedly received 
gunshot wounds to his upper body and succumb to the injuries. The woman also reportedly received gunshot wounds to her upper body and was taken to hospital where she was admitted in serious condition. Reports are that the suspect in the shooting was subsequently held after he was found lurking around the hospital where the woman was being treated. Sleuths theorized that Jackson and the woman were trailed to the area and subsequently attacked by the suspect and his cronies. Investigations are ongoing. So people may wonder if this is just a love triangle. You see me I say? Because women not understand how two vehicles pull up on the man. Oh, them a friend here. Go support them friend. Figure dash with him woman. Him ex-woman and her boyfriend. Oh. Me can't believe say man would a really support them bridging. Figure do this. You see me I say? So this may be more than just. A love triangle. Because I can't really understand. Oh, you have to support your bridging in a day, my fool, in shop. If you go through it, you can't go buy him a drink or something. You know what I mean? Check up on him. Go to a party if you can. And try to get him mine half of the woman. You can't say you have to support him if you go dash with the woman and our new man. Not for the time when a woman left a man and the man a mess up and the woman decides say yo she can't take it no more. You know what I mean? Although you have some of them woman ya from not nah, go and feel them nobody want you. And some of the time some man go in a relationship and I try to use money and them thing there for all a woman. But that can't all a woman. You see me I say, never you try to use vanity. And try to keep a woman. Because you know so when that vanity gone, she gone too. You see me? So, me only hope so the woman pull through. You know what I mean? And know that them have this money in a custody. Them for, you know what I mean? Try to get some information out of time. And hold on for the next man them. You see it? Because, how oh, can you support your friend in a them a fool initially? You see me? Make a woman go and go live her life, Bridget. Look how much woman out there. You see me, I say, no matter where you invest in a woman, and woman are no investment, make sure you take care of yourself first when you're in a relationship. Then you can take care of other people because you have to pour in a yourself first. So make we move on, people. Businessman shot four year old injured during attempt robbery in St. Mary. A license firearm holder was shot and injured after he challenged a gunman who physically assaulted a four-year-old girl during an attempt robbery. The eye drama reportedly occurred at a Supreme Venture outlet in Broadgate St. Mary Sunday morning. The 32-year-old lies a firearm holder who is reportedly a businessman has since been hospitalized while the child was treated and released, police said. Reports reaching our news team indicate that around 10 10 a.m., the four year old and her cousin were at the outlet purchasing phone cards when the businessman turned up to do a transaction. Two men, one armed with a handgun, police said, them forward upon them bike, you see it? All right, entered, entered the outlet and pushed down the child, causing her to fall and hit her head, resulting in a wound. The license firearm holder saw what was happening and pulled his weapon and the gunman fired shots hitting him in the abdomen. The businessman returned the fire and the men fled on the motorcycle. The license firearm holder was taken to hospital where he was treated and admitted. The child's parents took her to the Bustamante Hospital for Children where she was treated and released. The police have since launched a man on for the robbers or wannabe robbers. I that them put them put wannabe robbers. See? So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Remember to like and also subscribe and click that top bell icon to get notified when there's anything new on the channel.